Welcome back. If you love arranging flowers, there's a DIY flower arranging class this weekend on March 23rd at the Peace Church here in Rochester. I'm joined by Dylan Starr, Director of Programming and Music at Peace United, and Michelle Moe, owner of Flowers and More in Stewartville. Welcome to both of you. Hey, thank, thank you. you. You are welcome. This is lovely, and it, you know I'm, I'm so ready for spring. And even though we're, we might be getting some bad weather, a way to get over that is to have some flowers in your house. Yes, mm -hmm. right? absolutely. Just in time for Easter. Tell us about the event coming up. The I'll arranging. Let, I'll let Dylan explain it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, awesome. Right? Well, we've got going to get our hands a little bit dirty. Okay. Um, we've everybody loves a DIY class, and so we can create some gifts here. And I, I have a great friend, Michelle Mo. Uh, from Stuartville, Flowers and More, and I thought, let's do this class at Peace. People need to do this. Yeah, totally. And so if we come to the class, yeah. we get flowers, and you'll teach us how to arrange, and then we can take it. Yep, take so it. we're going to bring several different containers that are going to look different. Everybody can kind of pick their own. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have them pre-green, but you still have to finish greening them all in. And then we're going to bring a selection of different flowers, and everybody gets to pick their own flowers to put in there. And you're actually going to make this. Oh. You are doing this on your own, and then you get to take it home. Whether you give it. it to a friend or you keep it on your table, it's all yours to keep. And uh, I saw on uh, the screen that came mm. up, it was 30 bucks to go. Is that how much it costs? Correct. And yeah. that's a huge deal. That's a great deal. So tell, give us some tips about flower arranging, because some people think, oh, I'm just terrible at it, and some people are naturals. So what are some, maybe the three most important things? Um, I would say if you're doing it in a container, you, f you first need fresh oasis. And you need to soak it in floral food. What is Fresh Oasis? Uh, fresh Oasis, so that you have dry, that's meant for um, silks. And then okay. you have fresh, that's meant to be soaked in floral food and water. So that's the thing you stick the flowers in? Mm. Yes. Okay, this got it, got it, got it. This. Oh, right, okay. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you need that. And then your base is your greens that you start off with. And then it just depends on the kind of look that you want to go for. So this is more of an all-around uniform look that we're looking at today. So I think of it as a triangle. So I put my tallest piece in the middle and you build out from there. Ah, lovely. And what are, I mean, purple seems to be a huge color going on right now, popular. I love it. What are some of these flowers? So I've got carnations, we have got carnations in here. And as I'm talking, Dylan can kind of fill in some of these blanks too with Ooh. the flowers. You trust me? I do. <laughs> okay. So we have um, a Lestromeria, we've got some mini carns, we've got some palm daisies. Mm. We have green trick dianthus, and we've got some green athos that we're going to be adding into this to complete the look. These are the, what are these? Those are mini carnations. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is it, you know, carnations used to only be pink or whatever, and now they're in so many different colors. Right, right? and they have them in multi-tones too, just like this here. Gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Um, so what about caring for this? When you bring it home, how do you make it last long? You're going to keep it in a cooler area of your house. You're not going to expose it to direct sunlight, and you're going to check the water level in it daily because it is so dry out right now. We have no moisture in the air. Well, yet. Yeah, right. Right? <laughs> We're going to have some moisture in the air. Right. Here. Yep. Um, and then, um, just like I said, it, check the water. If it's low, add cold water to it. That's the best way to keep these. So cold water as opposed to warm water. And what about the, you know, when you get flowers, sometimes they come with little packets of whatever? Yep, so in a container arrangement like this, that is already going to have that in there. It's going to be soaked ah. into the foam. Oh, okay. Versus okay. if you have a fresh flower arrangement that's in a vase, yeah, that will already have your flower food in there too. But like we as, at our shop will always offer you an extra packet to take home so that you can change out your water. Nice. And always pull it out and recut your stems after about a week. They'll last you twice as long. Oh. Good tips. Do we have to do anything like that to this? We just nope. keep it in a cool place? And add water to it every few days. How long do you think it'll last? About two weeks. About two weeks. I love it. And you guys, thank you so much for being here. I have to ask about, quickly, we just have a few seconds, but